This power plant is fed by this dam, is the second one that was uh, made on this uh, creek, on this property. The first dam, which I'll try to find, is uh, was really a dam. It was just where my father took water off the creek to power his first power plant on this stream that uh, took in the majority of the fall of the amount of waterfall in a short distance. But later on in the 70s, with some outside help, they uh, came up to this point probably because it was a good spot with uh, rock outcropping here. Uh, if you don't have your walls fastened into something secure, it could wash out again, wash entirely out. And the other side is buried into the hillside, uh, quite a ways. So right now it is getting to be very, very low water. And uh, the spillway there, I see a board has come out as the water has been going down steadily. All those boards can be taken out so the little pond at the top can be totally drained because the, where the pipe, the part where the pipe goes, it can fill up with gravel except the Right over here you can see uh, water coming out of that area. That keeps the, uh, is keeping the, uh, that area where the pipe is from filling up with gravel and plugging the pipe. So anyway, I'll go up top there and show you a few more things up there. Here's a shot of the two foot diameter steel pipe all welded together. Not sure many how many hundred feet it is before it drops into the power plant. And uh, then it's got concrete pillars that it's been cast right underneath of it there. So anyway, I have to crawl underneath this thing to get up to the top. That's the uh, section of pipe there. This is mid-summer, mid-August, and we've had hot weather. The creek is not uh, flowing that much. During the spring, this whole area is covered with water here, and you might say it would be a roaring torrent for sure. That'd be solid water from one bank to the other. Those trees that are there are to guide other debris from that's coming down to direct it over the spillway. It'd be probably a two feet of water over the spillway in the spring here. We only use so much water. Anyway, this is the uh, where the water goes into the pipe here. At the bottom there, you'll see a stream. That's to keep the leaves, etc., out of the pipe and going through the power plant. And uh, we come up here, you'll see a steel door there, and actually a place that you can stand on there. And uh, there's a steel framework up above, so you can put uh, some sort of a winch on there and uh, lower that door, take the screen out, lower the door right down, stop the water if you have to do maintenance inside there, and uh, stop the water from even going into the pipe to do repairs to the pipe. So that, and, uh, and that will catch the fine dirt as well because it's slowing up there. The creek can get muddy in the spring with uh, spring runoff. So anyway, that's uh, that, and uh, just run down here that you can see there. That goes back and is buried, well buried into the bank. I wasn't here when this was put in. It was put in the 70s. I was already teaching up north. And uh, even the first power plant on this thing, I wasn't much help to my father because I was away at school. 
starting, I think I went to school in the fall of 64, possibly, 1964. I've only been back home for visits uh, every so often. There's another shot looking above the, the dam to collect the water. I might mention on this too, the uh, farm here has had water rights on this creek from the 1800s. And um, this was this uh, project was put in uh, with uh, government permission, I would say. This is the first time I put a video on of my little water wheel in the creek at home. Some uh, individual thought I was ruining the stream, etc., etc. He didn't really know what he's talking about because it wasn't, uh, it was just a little side stream that I was using. So hopefully we won't get any comments with regards to environmental issues, etc.